Hey everyone, welcome to another episode. Did I get that right, Rob? This time. This time. It is actually an episode here at RGJ Trains. Updates through the week. At David Junction here with RGJ Trains as well. Updates through the week. Episode of the week. Yeah. Kind of stuffed up, didn't I, guys? But anyway, as you can see, and you can probably hear as well, it's made a difference, isn't it? It's kind of blank. Now, don't worry, you've not been time walked back, you're not on an earlier episode, but obviously it's finally time for painting. So, well, someone did point it out to us in fairness um, that we should have been painting before putting things down. But hey ho, we never do anything like we should, do we? We always mm. do it the difficult way, or I do anyway, you can blame me. Aye. So, obviously, we've got a light blue for the wall. I've got hiccups now. Um, Just explain the, the reason for it is because we're not doing, we're not buying a background are we, we're doing it ourselves. And when I'm brave enough I will then maybe start adding more to it but the blue is just going to be the base for now just for your sky and then we've actually got a garden paint. Now we've asked a few people, looked in a few of the Facebook pages and a lot of people have actually used outdoor brown paint because if you're looking to do it yourself trying to find indoor brown paint is like rocking horse proverbial it's not easy to find or you're going to pay god over the earth for apparently it. nobody likes to paint their walls dark brown for yeah. some reason which used to be years ago but so we've gone for the cup and all it was actually on special so if you're anywhere near a b and m maybe check it out if you're at this stage as well or going to be because it was b and m that had this on special yeah because the the blue was 15 quid the same size yeah. but the brown was 11 quid. 11 so yeah Get B&M and have a look. <clears throat> oh, on that note as well, guys. Um, and I'm not coming in front of the camera. Um, as the subject's been raised this week, um, regarding donkey sanctuaries and things like that, uh, we, do, uh, we do earn a little bit off the YouTube channel, not a massive amount. But as we've already said, everything we earn goes back into the track. And that's what's bought the paint and the brushes, etc. <laughs> Um, re with regards to that, again, I've already put it on a rant post. I do apologise for that because I was a little bit biffed. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yes, um, we're, su we're, 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 suppo we're supposed to give shout outs to our members and patrons and everything, which that which which we haven't been. No, and there you just said our money off YouTube. It's not just YouTube. We've got it because uh, patrons. Yes, yes so fair, fair goes. That's, that's a great comment. <laughs> patrons actually. and our members. Yeah. So. Um, we are supposed to give them shout outs, it's part of the um, patron and member things. Um, and that upset somebody the other day saying they'd rather give to a donkey sanctuary, which is absolutely fine. We love donkeys. And if people are donating to donkey sanctuaries, brilliant. You know people are going to twist that, what you Yeah, well said. they can twist it all they want. <laughs> well, if, well, it's whales, it should be sheep, shouldn't it? Um, if you want to donate it to a sheep factory, that's absolutely fine. Sheep, sheep factory? <laughs> what are you want? Sheep. Just, Thank just, just stop. Yeah. Just, would you like me to continue? Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> so, if you want to donate your money to a worthwhile cause, fantastic. Um, we love our members and patrons for the donations they make. It really does make a little bit of difference. What well, makes quite a bit of difference in fairness. But at the same time, we give a big shout out to all the moderators on the channel who, like I've said look out for grace and i'm over the moon with that um and they do hard work during the live chats putting out links and everything and we love our members who are our subscribers and followers just as equally because the tip hints tips especially regarding painting things before we start laying stuff is more that's quite a valid point isn't it grace yeah. it's you know without advice like that Experience. we would be stuck experience we're we're starting we said we're doing this on the wing and a breath so yeah you, you guys who don't donate to us don't click the smileys or whatever it is in the chats who don't patron us and things like that you are all equally loved 
and people who haven't donated financially but who have donated items either brand new or second hand picking out that gift box your birthday box the items in there were blooming amazing and we've even used one recently yeah the, the other thing you forgot as well is obviously the donator the one-off donators on the chats as well yes just not forgetting as well because anybody who has donated either financially or physically you are loved but our followers subscribers and what have you they're all genuinely loved too we cannot stress this enough if you can't afford the donate a penny it really doesn't matter if you can afford to donate a bit of your time a bit of your experience your knowledge that's just as valuable yeah rant over so anyway where is the camera at this point and we're still just staring yeah, it's pointing at, at you is it it's okay. pointing at you and the and the and the paint ah right oh so, let me guess you want let, let, let's do a mr b de mill and do an extreme close-up no no right. this face will scar people for life it's on you no grace yes um so anyway guys yes as we said it's going to be painting everything and then putting everything back together so the one thing i do want to ask as well with people that watch the lives is we've obviously been doing a bit of mixing on the line or line side and the metcalf kit is that working for people and again it's this is why we appreciate comments i've enjoyed it myself and i know that's a rule it's ours but we appreciate if people prefer watching the line side or the metcalf just give us your feedback with that guys as well because we do appreciate it so we're gonna head off now and start painting and we'll see you guys later bye for now
so next day here we are now i was planning to get more painting done last night but i know quite a few of you especially on my lives when i've just been having issues with flare-ups of late so somebody decided to avoid me doing any more when i did wake up that he would go ahead with the brown yep. so we kind of made sure most surfaces to get to the blue were inaccessible however he kind of forgot this side that could have gone up and gone round but the sentiments there guys he didn't want me to go back up yesterday with how it was playing up so the brown has started and as you can see on the wall with the blue as well it's dried now so it has dried lighter than when we applied it and it's that nice sky looking blue obviously as time goes on is whether we just add clouds or a bit of scenery i actually thought of something yes and it did hurt and i do need to go and lie down because my brain now hurts we need white for your airbrush. Yeah. And you can airbrush clouds in. Yeah, we should let me have a test first because I've still not got yeah, the airbrush yeah, out, guys. Still not got it out. Get your airbrush for your clouds and a darker colour and paint some set, some birds and stuff in. Yeah. Maybe, you know, something like When that. I feel confident with it, guys, I will eventually do it. It's that bit of apprehension, as I'm sure you know. So anyway, we're going to continue getting on painting and hopefully by the end of today, it's all painted ready to put everything back. That's wishful thinking. Yeah, this is true. It's colder today. Okay, guys, see you in a bit. So we're not going to bore you with painting. I, I think most of you know how to paint. Um, if you don't, if you want any tips, let us know. So that's not going to put anyone down. Um, but we're going to carry on with this off of the episode or update. And hopefully by the next update, it is an update, won't be an episode. Uh, <laughs> hopefully it should all be painted and everything can go back. We do need, <coughs> excuse me, choking. I know you'd prefer me to choke. We do need to mention something as well. Um, obviously, we mentioned about um, the earnings off YouTube being spent on the track. Now, me believe, being a blind 50 something year old bloke, one thing we did buy as well was you probably see me using it in the video is this piece of kit here. I'm just in the camera. Yeah, I'm just yeah. in the camera. Um, £20 I found out. Oh, it wasn't even that, yeah, was it? Yeah, no, it was £20. Oh, okay. I didn't realise. 
20 pound off Amazon. Um, it's basically a magnifier and a light built in. Oh, it's got it's like my light guys that I use for the lights. So it's got multiple settings, multiple you do, brightness. You can do pretty things with it. Let's have a look. I don't know if Will it show it on there? I don't know. I'm trying to blind the camera. Because I was actually going to use this as well when I get to painting figures. Yeah. You've got your three different light modes, the same as the other one. And it can go up and down. All right. So if you do want a link for that, let us know as well, because it is handy to have. Uh, Rob's definitely going to use it for <coughs> the... Oh, blind that. I'm proud to admit it. But yeah, it is handy to, for doing the fine work. I've got to um, repair a couple of spotlights on the church where the pins have come out the sides. And um, that's really fine work. Grace is going to use it for... People. The peoples. And horses. Yeah. Mm, well, the horses have all got like different. Let's not mention the horses. They all look different anyway. They don't all look different. Stuff the horses. They're going to the glue factory. Do you hear the crickets right now? Look at the look, guys. Look at the look. Look at the camera with the look. Look at the camera. She's not good. She's looking straight at me. Because I'm not going to give anyone else a look. Why not? Why is it always me? Because you want to turn the horses into glue. Well, Tesco Burgers. Remember that? Tesco Burgers. It was Ikea Meatballs, actually. And Tesco Burgers. Don't you remember? Ikea Meatballs. Do a Google search. Tesco were accused of selling horse burgers. Ikea Meatballs. Right, anyway, so we're going to carry this, carry on with this offline. Grace is going to carry on her painting and we'll get this video out. And then we should catch you... Um, Tonight. Well... well. <laughs> Tonight, but um, Tuesday's Tuesday? live, it should be. Hopefully. Um, Unless again, we're finally plan to uh, do anything else. Yeah, um, it will be after Barnabas's um, broadcast. I'm not sure. I think he said six to seven on Tuesday, hasn't he? So don't forget to um, have a look at Barnabas's live uh, between six and seven, I think, on Tuesdays, and then we'll go live after his. Okay, everybody, say bye, Grace. Bye, Grace. I can't meet both. Horses. <laughs>